just for fun, let's have a look at a Marshall JTM45 with the master volume cranked up all the way. If you've watched my video with the JCM800-2203, uh, you'll know that this is not necessarily going to sound the best when the master volume is on 10. There's a definite sweet spot on these amps. I just want to show you guys what the master volume actually does on these. And of course, you know, technically, this isn't a master volume amplifier, it is just a loudness control. So I'm playing a Momose Strat, and I have got the bass at about two, the middle at about eight, and the treble at about six with the presence at four. On this amp, I think it sounded pretty good using a cabinet with vintage 30s and G12T75s. This is a Cascade Fathead microphone going into an Apollo Twin, straight to Pro Tools, no post-processing or anything. Let's just have a listen to what it sounds like. I'm going to start here with the master at about 9 o'clock. And I'm wearing hearing protection, and there were a bunch of people who were like, Ha ha ha, you're wearing hearing protection? What a pussy! Back in my day, I used to use 72 Marshall amps cranked up all the way to 11. And it's like, yeah, okay, that's really cool, man, but, you know, I don't want to get permanent hearing damage, and neither should you, so if you're playing loud amps, use ear protection, don't be a dickhead, you know, it's not a dick measuring contest, just enjoy playing guitar for what it is, and, you know, playing loud amps is cool, but it can also damage your hearing, and being deaf, you know, uh, when you can avoid it is not a good thing, so, uh, with that disclaimer, let's play some guitar. <coughs> sweet spot is it's probably at about three o'clock uh, which is you know with these JTM 45s I was saying before uh, the loudness control it's obviously not a master volume control but it doesn't really get that much louder past about four it just starts breaking up and getting distorted and yeah it's a pretty glorious experience if you've never played one of these amps before uh, at this kind of volume do it because right now I'm getting this really pleasant thump it's not like the 2203 which was like stupid, stupid loud, where it was unpleasant to be around. Uh, this is quite nice, you can sort of like feel a bit of that low end thump and then setting the amp up like this, the highs aren't too ice picky or anything like that and it's uh, yeah, just really nice and compressed and saturated and the tube rectifier gets a bit saggy and uh, yeah, the other great thing about these as well is they're just so responsive to your guitar's volume control. So if you're sort of playing on full ball... <laughs> there if you kind of find the right spot it's not so loud that everything's going to feed back but you know you can do the old trick where you rest the headstock on the speaker cabinet and get a little bit of controlled feedback there so yeah if you enjoyed that if you liked the video please hit subscribe and i'll do a few more video with these uh amps cranked up all the way cheers